um, real quick message because I'm in the middle of the um, I have to call a soul prayer. I actually have to Skype with her in about a, in about a little bit, but um, she has demons in her house and she needs prayer. So if you could please include her in your prayers, I would appreciate it. She's going through a lot. She has young kids. She's out in Alabama. Anyway, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis. Remember when I told you that I do not accept donations because it's against God. This individual here, I don't know if this person is trying to set a trap or what, but I don't trust anybody. This individual here, okay, is pretty much asking me, would I accept a $125 donation from them? This is what they said. Now, I'll let you read it. Hello, sweet lady. I just want to thank you, for, especially for what you do for our military services, because I counsel military um, families because they have kin abroad. And I also do deliverances. I do some relationship counseling. Uh, I also do, I preach the gospel to lost souls. Praise be to God. It's not by my hands, by God's hand. So, hello, sweet lady. I just want to thank you, especially for what you do for your military, uh, military services. Anyway, I agree with what you said about all the false people who said who say they who are say they who say they're Christians, excuse me. That's why I took my channel down almost a year ago. I guess you say I'm just a troll now. And then she has L O L parentheses because I stopped making videos a long time ago. Um almost a year now. I might start doing I might start again on this new channel. Not sure yet, but I was wondering if I could just send a small donation to maybe help with food, etc. for your military ministry. I may not have much money. At least I can send $125, maybe a little more next month. Do you have a PayPal or somehow, or do you know of someone else who does care for our troops that can be trustworthy? You can let me know. My name is Samantha, but everybody calls me Sammy or Sam. Okay, bye. Now, if she's watching, okay, I appreciate the gesture. Just remember, this better not be a trick or a trap to try to get me to say, oh, accept a donation, and then try to do an expose video on me saying that I accept donations even though I preach against it. I do not accept donations for my ministry, Samantha or Sammy. Okay? If you are being sincere, I appreciate the gesture. I thank you from the bottom of my soul, but I don't accept donations. My ministry is funded by me working a full-time job. With that being said, I responded... And I said, hi, thank you, but I do not accept donations. See my response? I said, please, please use that to help the homeless in your town or give it to a Salvation Army in your hometown or a local church that is honest or save that blessing and let Jesus guide you. And that's what I said. Okay, so I'm just going to skip on over to her channel just to see if either she's legit or she's trying to put me in a trap, which I'm not going to sit here not going to make, I'm not going to attack anyone. I don't know the sister. I had to pray about it. If she means well, I appreciate it. And if she's watching, um, I would make a strong recommendation to, uh, use that donation towards a blessing. Um, Samantha, if you are watching, please use that donation towards a blessing, you know, towards like um, I'm sure you have a, a homeless shelter in your town. I'm sure you have maybe, you know, a Salvation Army or an Honest Church. Use that for your blessing. I mean, use that, those monies to donate to like a Salvation Army in your area because they can use the help. Or a local church, Samantha. Or even not just a local church, um, maybe a self, maybe, um, a charity that you, that let Jesus guide you, maybe a charity. Um, do, if you choose to donate to any ministry, please pray to God about it first before doing anything. Um, if for whatever reason, Sam, you're asking about a trustworthy ministry, I would suggest you pray to God about it because you got a lot of vultures excuse the term fake pastors and ministers that would love to steal your money honey so please be careful um what else did i want to say to you 
Um, I believe that you mean what you say from the very depths of your heart and your soul, and God bless you. But um, why don't you use that money, like I said, towards the Salvation Army? Use it for the homeless in your area. You know, help the homeless out because that makes a big difference. Donate to a worthy charity. And my advice is to let Jesus guide you, sister. Let Jesus guide you. So as you can see, I do not accept donations for my ministry. I don't. Um, Samantha, thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. God is going to bless you. Um, all glory to Jesus. But uh, my suggestion would be is to have Jesus guide you in what you can do. Okay. Um, like I said, if you are playing games and this is some type of trick to get me to accept, don't, I'm not accusing you, but if this is a trick to try to get me to accept, you know, to try to get me to, um, coax me into saying, okay, I want money. I want donations. And then you're going to turn around and do an expose video on me saying, oh, well, you know what? She accepts donations, even though she preaches about it. Um, Jesus will deal with you, but if you mean this out of the very depths of your heart and you're sincere about it, and I believe you are, Jesus will bless you, sister. Nobody's accusing you. Let God by, uh, guide you. Let the Lord um, lead you. And, and he will tell you what you need to do with those funds. You know, um, I know the homeless do need a lot of help. And yes, the military. Uh, my job has this program going on where... It's called the Care Package Program, where employees donate to it, like myself, and they send the giant care packages overseas to support our troops. So I donate to that, but I don't accept donations, though. It's ungodly. It's against God. You know what I mean? But if you choose to give, that's wonderful, but give to one that really needs help. And that's the homeless. I believe the homeless needs help. You have children that are ill. You know. Um, even in your local hospitals. There might be a section there. Where they're trying to. They, they need help with um, sick children there. Volunteer Sam. Volunteer to local hospital. Volunteer to Salvation Army Sam. That is. A tithing. That's an offer. That's a blessing in itself when you do that. God's going to bless you. If you are sincere, Sam, and I believe you are, God's going to bless you for what you're doing. Now, I'm going to take you to some scriptures that talks about um, no donations. And I've talked about this before, but I figured this would be a very perfect... And I'm just going to be real quick because I have to talk to you about something. And then I'm going to wrap this up. I, I'm, I try not to do videos back to back because I have to Skype a soul in a moment here. In the next few minutes I have to Skype with her. James chapter 2 verse 14. What doth I profit, my brethren? Though a man say he hath faith and have not works, can faith save him? Faith without works is dead. What the Most High is basically saying is that for mankind, God, our works are like filthy rags to the Father. God's not going to look at the works that you do. God's going to look at your faith, what you did for him, plus your works, because they go hand in hand. God is also going to look at if you kept his statutes. One of the statutes being that the father looks down on giving donations. Okay? The Bible opposes it. What about when God sent out... Um, the apostles or the true, true disciples of God, God sent them out. And what happened was, was that God told them not to take any donations, not to take anything off their back. I'm going to see if I could find that scripture for you too. You guys, I've been so busy. Things are just... I need to talk to you real quick. Let me just give you that scripture. Mark, you'll find it in Luke 10, 12. Mark uh, 10, uh, chapter 10, verses 1 through 23. Um, 
God says that he's sending out workers, uh, lambs among the wolves. Oh, he says here, do not take a purse or bag or sandals and do not greet anyone on the road. God says about, um, frowns about donations in the scripture. I'm going to let you read that yourself. Um, if we go to the Mark chapter six, verse seven, um, God says here, I'm going to go to the KJV and he called unto them 12 and began to send them forth by two and two. And he gave them power over unclean spirits. This is the scripture that God says for them not to take anything off their back. You know, only leave what they have. Don't accept any kind of donations. God, um, clearly makes it known in the scripture. Um, another scripture I wanted to show you before I move on. If you could please give me a moment here. Oh, it's also talked about in Matthew 10, Matthew chapter 10, when um, the Lord sent out the 12 disciples, he gave them power to clean, to uh, cast spirits, evil spirits out to heal the sick. Um, God said to his, God said to them not to uh, accept anything. Remember that scripture, Marcus? Yeah. Not to accept anything, only to take what they left what they left on their back. God warns in chapter 10 about persecution. I want you to read that if you get a chance, Matthew chapter 10. And this is proof right here that God's not coming back to just be lovey-dovey. In other words, God's coming back to wage a righteous war. He's coming with a sword in his mouth. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that, that I come to send peace on earth. I came... Not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, God talks about division in the family in the last days. It's happening now. A man's foe shall be they of his own household. This is phenomenal. Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. How God talks about even your own family will betray you. Um, he's warning, talking about taking up the cross. Those that receive Jesus Christ receives the truth. Those that receive Jesus Christ are of God. Are of God. Okay, so, anyway, look at those scriptures when you get a chance. Samantha, Sam, thank you. I appreciate it, but I, again, I don't accept donations. I didn't mean to take it this far. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to be on here as much. My deliverance cases are really packed. I mean, I'm getting them in every day. Um, I counsel military kin at my job because they have family abroad. I'm sorry, they have, uh, these are wives, husbands, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. They have kin abroad that, you know, in the military, overseas. Um, like I said, I count, I do relationship counseling. I preach the gospel, do deliverance regarding, uh, demonic entities. That sister, I'm going to Skype within a few minutes. Um, she's texting me now. So I'm going to get ready to wrap this up. Anyway, listen, you guys. I am not going to be on here as much. Um, God is telling, Jesus Christ is telling me to step back. He's calling me to do more things in these last days. Because I don't know about you, but I feel like, it's the calm before the storm and it's getting, it's getting worse. It's, it's not getting any better. Um, there's a lot of people that need help. There's a lot of souls that need to know about Jesus Christ because he's the truth, the light and the way, amen. And there's just not enough time and there's just so few laborers for the kingdom of God. So I work a full-time job. I run a small ministry. And I do this all on the side. I stand by the Lord's word. God said about the times we're living in. He was going to be, he told me that he's going to be calling out his true elect. I don't know who they are. I don't even know if I'm a true elect. Well, I know I was told to step back from YouTube because let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube has become a cesspool full of false prophets and their followers. I was told to step back. I'm doing the will of the Lord right now in my ministry, away from YouTube right now, but I'm not leaving the ministry yet. You know what I mean? Um, God is calling his true elect to leave YouTube, to leave Facebook, to leave Daily Motion. 
He's calling them now. That's what the father told me. So if you are a true elect of God and you know who you are and only God can decide that you have a true heartfelt relationship with the Lord, you are living for the father. And I mean righteously on a holy life with not one spot of sin on you. Please come out. Step out of YouTube because God said that there's false prophets rising in YouTube and in the world. And this is just a warning for you. I'm warning you in advance. You run the risk that you're going to get deceived and you're going to fall off the path. These are the last days. It's time for you to come out of Babylon. And it's time for you to answer the calling of the Father in your life, in your ministry, so you can do the will of God in these last days.